Hello, my name is Mark Temple and I'm just going to give you a quick um, introduction to pipetting small volumes. Now to understand small volumes you also need to understand the units of volume. So typically we talk about liters, like a bottle of water might be a liter, but in molecular biology or biology generally we tend to work in smaller volumes such as milliliters which would be like um, a small sip from a bottle or we talk about microliters which may be a drop from the bottle so this is a brief guide to using the micro pipettas and these here are some examples of micro pipettas so the first decision you need to make is which pipetta is the correct one for the volume which you want to dispense. Okay. Now, if we look at one of these pipettas here, this is a P1000, a pipetta 1000. And I call it a P1000 because on the little cap here, it says P1000. That refers to the volume, the maximum volume that you can dispense with this pipetta. So the P1000 can dispense a thousand units of something. Okay, that's a thousand microliters. Okay, there are one thousand microliters in one milliliter. Therefore, the maximum volume this can dispense is one milliliter, which is the same as a thousand microliters. This is a very similar pipetta, but this one dispenses a smaller volume. And if you read the top here, it's a P200, meaning the maximum volume it can dispense is 200 microliters, which is the same as 0.2 of a milliliter. Okay? So, if you look at these in comparison, you can see straight away the difference. The, um, this pipetta here has a much wider barrel and can dispense a much larger volume, up to a milliliter or 1,000 microliters. This one has a much narrower barrel and can dispense a smaller volume up to 0.2 of a mil or 200 microliters. So this is the P1000 and this is the P200, named according to the maximum volume they can dispense expressed in microliters. Okay, so let's assume I want to dispense a volume of, say, 800 microliters. Clearly, I'm going to be using a P1000 because it's greater than 200 microliters and it's less than 1,000 microliters. So 800 microliters. Okay. There's a scale on these, and the scale here is at its maximum setting is clearly going to represent 1,000 microliters. So this is set to a thousand microliters and the unit here is 100. So um, the zero for the smaller volume is not shown. So a hundred on this scale refers to a thousand microliters and therefore 90 on this scale would refer to 900 microliters and we want to dispense 800 microliters so the 0 0.80 if you think of the red digit as um, one as expressing milliliters then the decimal place would be after the the um the red digit and it would be 0.8 of a mil or 800 microliters if I want to dispense 180 microliters, I would use the P200. Okay, I would not use the P1000 to dispense anything that's in the range of this pipetta, because this is designed to pipette between 200 and maybe I don't know, maybe 20 microliters, maybe 10 if you're desperate. Okay, so if I want to dispense 180 microliters, I can see here from the wheel that it's, it's, it's about halfway. So it's a P200, it's set about halfway, it's reading 100 here. So clearly 100 refers to 100 microliters. Okay, so 180, 
I'll just wind it up until that number reaches 180. There you go, 180. So that's going to dispense 180 units of something, and that is 180 microliters. Okay, the next thing you need to be clear on when using the pipettes is putting the right tip onto the, um, the bottom of the pipette. So this is a, a pipette, but it doesn't have a tip on the end, so it can't be used until it's fitted with its tip. So here is a box of tips. This is um, what a blue tip looks like. These tips fit the P1000, and you'll notice that the diameter here matches the diameter here. So it just clips on. All right. So effectively, what you do is just lightly put it on. Okay. So the P, the, this large um, plastic tip fits the P1000. Okay. If you try to take the P200 onto the blue tip, it's not going to fit. Okay, clearly that is not designed to fit. All right. And likewise, the P200 perfectly fits these yellow tips. Okay, so um, so here you have one of, the, one of the yellow tips. Okay, and again. The yellow tip doesn't fit anywhere close to isn't anywhere close to fitting the P1000. So when you use these pipettes, you only ever use them when the tip is attached, and it's only the tip that you're going to immerse into the solution that you're going to transfer from one container to another container. Okay, let's assume I want to pipette a volume of 180 microliters. Clearly, I'm going to use the P. 200 for that. Let's put a tip on there. Okay, so we're ready to go. We've got a tip on there. Okay, now there are two positions that this plunger will work at. Okay, there's the first one, and then there's the second one, which is all right. The first one is calibrated. So when I when I dispense it to the first position, it's going to dispense the volume that's written on this scale here. So that's the first position. The second position is not calibrated, it's just an extra bit of push that dispenses a little bit more air out to expel the solution from the tip. So you don't use that when you're drawing the solution up. You only use the calibrated position to draw the solution up, and then when you dispense, you dispense all the way down. So let's have a look. Okay, so here's the um, pipetta. I'm going to take it down to the first volume, which is the calibrated volume here. I'm going to immerse the tip under the solution. Then I'm going to draw the solution up. Okay, so I'm dispensing down to the first position. I'm immersing it just below the volume, um, just below the top surface, and then I'm slowly drawing that up. And if you look here, you'll see quite clearly that we have um, have us have a volume of 180 microliters in here. Keep the pipette in the vertical orientation when you're doing this. If you, um, let me just dispense it. To dispense it, I go down all the way to the second position. So I dispense it by going like this. So you'll see here go so to summarize to draw up solution you go down to the first stop you immerse the tip you draw it up slowly and there's your 200 or 180 microliters and then you can dispense 
the solution. Okay. When you're working with these pipettas, and you've um, you know just imagine you've just drawn up a solution, you have a, you have a wet solution in here. If you hold it at an angle like that, okay, the solution is going to run down the barrel into the machine, and that's going to damage and have, you have to clean out the machine, and it's a lot of time and effort. Okay, so when you have a solution in here, you keep them in the vertical orientation. Okay. To remove the tip, there's a, a, a button here. Okay, if you just put a bit of pressure down on it with your finger, it will just pop the tip off. Okay, so um, there we go. So normally you'd have a um, a waste bin, and you would just dispense your tip into the waste bin. All right. Um, let's just quickly repeat that procedure with the P1000. Say I want I want to pipette um, something greater than 180 microliters because I would use the P200 for 180. Let's assume 500 microliters, half a milliliter. Okay. Simply place your tip down to the first position here, immerse, slowly relieve the pressure on your thumb to draw up the 500 microliters. Keep the pipetta in the vertical orientation to avoid the solution running up into the pipetta. To dispense, you go back down to the calibrated stop and then just down blow out that extra bit of air, put a bit more pressure on it, okay? So again, to draw up the solution, it's simply a matter of going down to the first stop and then immersing, then drawing up, then transferring to where you want to transfer, and then going all the way down. And you can draw up slowly, and you can be a little more firm when you're dispensing. Um, often you'll get bubbles on the end, um, depending on what you're dispensing. I often um, dispense onto the side of the container, and that way you tend not to get residue left in the tip. Okay, so as a brief introduction to using micro pipettas, hopefully that will suffice. Okay, important things are the choice of the right pipetta for the volume that you want to dispense. The next thing you need to be aware of is setting the appropriate volume here on the dial and not, not getting confused by the number. Okay, and to help with confusion, have a look at the maximum volume it can dispense and what the maximum scale is. And then if it's a P1000 and it's showing 100, then obviously that 100 represents 1000, and therefore 90 represents 900. For some of them it's easier, P200, the maximum unit here is 200, and therefore 200 on the scale is 200 microliters, 180 on the scale is 180 microliters. Be sure to use the correct tip for the pipetta, there are various size tips. I've shown you two here. The blue one is for the P1000. The yellow one is for the P200. When you're using any of these pipettas, you um, place a tip on, you set your dial to the volume, you then move the plunger down to the calibrated stop, you immerse into your solution, you slowly draw up your solution. I've got a bit of air in there, so I'll just dispense that out. And I'll pay more attention to the solution and not the camera. So I go down to the first stop on the pipetta here. I then immerse and slowly draw up the solution. I then go to the, dis the, the other thing I'm dispensing into, and I dispense the solution into that. And then I use this other button here to dispense the tip 
so that I, I can dispense the tip into a waste container, not into my hand. So, um, and, and again, keep the pipette upright whilst you're pipetting to avoid any backflow into the um, into the pipette itself. Um, be careful when you're winding. It's very easy to overwind these things. Some people say, well, I don't understand what I'm doing and I've got a P200 here, but this scale only goes up to 200. I want to wind it up to 500 because you're confused. You think it's 50 or whatever. And if you keep winding this thing here, which I'm not going to do, then this um, wheel here will start to exert a lot of pressure in that orientation outside of where you can you know um, hold it comfortably and you're going to damage the machine so never wind this little wheel here too far up or too far down and always be aware of where you are on the scale so it's often a good idea to be looking at the scale whilst you're winding and be aware of what the maximum um, capacity of the pipetta all right well, hopefully that helps, and um, yeah, good luck in your experiments. Okay, thank you.